All right, 819, it was 112 years ago yesterday that the San Francisco was rocked by one of the most significant earthquakes ever to hit the U.S., courtesy of that San Andreas Fault. Well, now the U.S. Geological Survey is warning what is uh, calling a tectonic time bomb, the Hayward Fault running along the east side of the San Francisco Bay. A magnitude 7.0 hit the Hayward Fault that runs through Oakland. It was, uh, would be disastrous, causing buildings and infrastructure collapses, fires. This animation simulates a massive quake centered under Oakland, striking on a weekday afternoon along the entire 52-mile stretch of the Hayward Fault. Scientists are calling it the haywired scenario. Joining us now is Caltech seismologist Lucy Jones. So, Lucy, why are we just identifying this now? Oh, this fault has been identified for a very long time. It produced an earthquake in 1868 that was called the Great San Francisco Earthquake till the even bigger one happened. What's different with this report is going through the scientific process of estimating exactly what a big earthquake would be like, just like we did a decade ago with the shakeout for Southern San Andreas. Yeah, Lucy, uh, by the way, for all our viewers, you've written a new book called The Big Ones, How Natural Disasters uh, Shaped Us and What We Can Do About Them. And you actually have a warning what is that warning, Lucy? Uh, that the earthquake is absolutely inevitable, but the disaster is not. And every one of us, every major city, has the potential for a big one of some disaster or another. And we can prevent it from becoming catastrophic by choosing to act beforehand. But we tend to just want to respond at the moment and not think about it before. And that's limiting what we do. Well, speaking of acting beforehand, there's a lot of talk about early warning systems, and there is a free app right now being tested. How close are we to getting an accurate early warning when there's about to be an earthquake? There's two different questions there. One is, how does the science work? Here in Southern California, we're doing extremely well because we have enough seismic stations. Los Angeles invested, gave Caltech $5 million several years ago to get those stations in place. The rest of uh, the West Coast is still trying to get completely built out. The problem is, is how do you deliver it to people? And the, the U.S. Geological Survey has determined that they're going to create the warning put it out through the internet and it's up to others to deliver it uh, and it's uh, still a I believe this year they're hoping to be able to get it finalized where more people will be able to pick it up but it's still going to be up to other developers to develop that interface for people well how much time will we have how big how far in advance is this warning or what are they working on do we not know like it is doesn't it 10 work seconds that a minute? way yeah. how can you predict it uh, all right. What it is, it's not a warning. It's not saying the earthquake will happen. It's saying the earthquake has already begun and the uh, waves are on their way to you. Got it. So how much warning you get depends on how far away you, you are. are. Got and it. it might only be a second or two. It yeah, might be I, up to 30 seconds. I do have a quick question for you, Dr. Jones. I wish that you were here in person so I could ask this of you. This is Maria, <laughs> Maria Quavon. Uh, we had a little earthquake. It was a 5.3 a couple of weeks ago, just off of Santa Cruz. I don't know if you remember right. that. Uh, was the early warning system in place at that time? And what can we expect if another one like that happens again? Okay. It was working, the prototype system, so the people who were testing it got warnings and it worked. Uh, it's not my decision when it goes out to the public that you really need to ask the federal government. The U.S. Geological Survey is still uh, is the one in charge of that, and I don't know when they're going to decide to release yeah. it. Lucy, uh, let's, let's move the conversation and talk about going forward. The big ones, obviously, yeah. that's your book. The San Andreas Fault is separated right. into three separate parts, right? There's a top, a central, and a lower and I believe the lower hasn't had a massive event in 300 years. What does that tell you as an expert? It tells me that whatever causes a long interval is happening right now. Are it does you not tell me the earthquake has to happen tomorrow. Are you, how no more than are you? any other part of the San Andreas. Uh, I am, see the problem, you're applying a time frame. On, the, on a geologic time frame, the earthquake has a 100% chance of happening. Mm -hmm. I just don't know when. Right? And uh, it could be today. It could be in a decade. We've already gone 330 years when the average is 150. Why not 350? Why not 400? So it doesn't tell me exactly when it's going to happen, but it does say this is a more likely place for a big one than anywhere else. And the, the other question is, how worried am I about it happening whenever it does happen? And that's what I, I start with in my book 
is we have looked at what that means, just like the scenario that was released for the Hayward Fault yesterday. We did it for the San Andreas a decade ago. And the physical destruction is significant. And what I really worry about, though, is whether or not our community is still going to be here. I can document how many people are likely to die, how many buildings are going to be falling down. But the question is, what's going to happen to our soul? Are we going to be willing to live here after we've gone through that? How difficult is it going to be to recover? And that's why I went and looked at how catastrophic disasters have played out in other cities over history. And it, it really gets down to how do people respond? How much do they care about each kit. other? Get your Are kit we ready be willing right to now, too, get right? Help? Yeah. Well, Dr. Jones, it was good to have you. Well, the book is called The Big Ones. And the, what gives me solace is that you still live here. And yeah. so we still have you here. If you're here, I'm staying. We're good. All right, doctor? <laughs> okay, but that doesn't mean I know when the next earthquake's coming. I'm I, just willing I'm to through it. I'm not holding you to it. I'm just right. saying, you give me a little comfort. It's good. Congrats on the new book. We'll have you back then, Dr. hopefully. Dr. Lucy Jones. Thank you very much. Earthquake kit. Do you have your prepared? Okay. Now? I do. Not at all. I don't either. And shame on me. But maybe you, this is a good opportunity and a reminder from two weeks ago. Maria does. Stuff. Maria, you uh, Let's go and take a little field trip, you too. Let's good. go get those Yeah, items. let's do it. Okay. All right.